what is up guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna film a tutorial today's tutorial is going to be I just spit everywhere that's disgusting Today's tutorial is going to be sunset eyes. I did this look a while ago and I meant to film a tutorial for it like months ago and I never got to it and then I was sitting today and I was like, okay, I'm really bored, I have nothing to do. And I was like, I should film a tutorial and then I thought about it and I was like, <gasps> I saw like on Instagram a dude doing sunset eyes and I was like, I did that look a while ago. It looked really good. I want to redo it. I want to film a tutorial. So that is what today's video is. So I'm going to stop blabbering. We're going to go. Okay, so I'll move them a little bit closer so you can see the eyes. We're going to start with the eyes. I'm going to start off with taking Benefits Lemonade to prime my eyelids. Now taking the Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to go into this super duper light shade on a fluffy blending brush to set that primer. I'm going to use the eyeshadow Bella Chiffon from Milani and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight. So as my transition, I'm going to be using this Coastal Sense eyeshadow in the shade Cantaloupe Slice on a Morphe G17 brush. I'm going to bring it up all the way to the brow bone so that it's all going to end up blended together. So for the inner corner, I'm using another Coastal Sense eyeshadow. This is in the shade Golden Globe. I'm taking a shading brush and I'm going to put that right on the inner part of the eye. So as the second shade, I'm going to be taking ColourPop's Sequin eyeshadow on the same shading brush. Okay. So I'm going to pat this on right next to and on top of that yellow. So now right now it's going to look a little wild. So I'm going to go back into Golden Globe to sort of blend the two together. So now using another Coastal Scents eyeshadow, oh I blinded you guys. I'm going to take this shade right here, Dark Salmon, and I'm going to take it on a Wet n Wild large eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to pack this on the remaining part of the eye. Bring it into the crease. Going back in with the G17, I'm going to blend the crease out. Now I'm going to go back in with Sequin, 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 and this time I'm going to pack it on my finger and I'm going to pack it on to the lid. Now as the last shadow, I'm going to go back into the Morphe 35N and I'm going to use this purple right here on a bit more of a thinner, fluffier brush. I'm going to place that directly on the outer B. So now this last part is totally optional, but I feel like it needs a little red, so I'm going to use from the Morphe 9B this red blush right here. Barely tap into it, and I'm going to add this on the outer V in the crease. Now it's time for the face. So I'm going to be using Benefits Erase Paste in the shade Medium on a Real Technique shading brush. This is to color correct the bags. Now 
Now I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick and I am in the shade Y225. I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 to blend that out. Sorry, the angle just changed. Sorry. Uh, next, I'm going to be using the Superstay Butter Skin Concealer. This is in the shade 10 Ivory to conceal and highlight. So lately I have been loving not putting like a single thing except for maybe some powder and bronzer on my nose. I don't know, it's something about like the natural little like freckles and spots on my nose. I just really like it. And of course, blending with the Beauty Blender. Now I'm going to set using the Rimmel Stay Matte, no, what? No. Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder on an e.l.f. small stipple brush. So for contour, I'm going back into the Morphe 35N palette and I'm using this cocoa brown shade right here on a small contour brush. Really, Tasha? Going to place that directly under my cheekbones. Now go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Ticket to Brazil on a Wet n Wild small buffing or flat buffing brush and then blend out that contour. So for the nose, I'm using the side of the brush to create a really strict line going straight down on both sides of the nose, taking a beauty blender to buff that out. Now, for the brows, I have been blessed by the makeup gods and goddesses with natural brows, so I just come through my brows, but of course, do your thing, fill in your brows. Now, for some blush, I'm using ColourPop Holiday on a Morphe G4. Now, for that glow, I'm going to be using the Solique Solstice Highlighting Palette, and I'm going into this yellow shade right here on a Morphe E12. Highlighting the top of my cheekbone. Now, moving back in close, we're going to do an ombre lip today. I'm going to start with using a makeup wipe to exfoliate. So I'm going to use Kat Von D's Love Sick Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and Colourpop's Midi uh, Ultra Matte Lipstick. Liquid Lipstick. So I'm going to start off with lining my lips using the Kat Von D. So now that my lips have been lined, I'm going to fill it in, but leaving the center blank. So now I'm going into midi. I'm going to place it in the center on those blank spots. Now, using a brush, and using the brush to blend the two lipsticks together. Now, 
Now, sometimes in the blending, the lighter color can get lost. So just add another dot of maybe. And you are done with your ombre lip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this sunset eye and ombre lip tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Uh, I just hit 60 subscribers, which it's not that much, but it means a lot to me. So thank you. And also... Follow me on Instagram, Gabriella De La Hoya. I'll have it linked down below. And also, check out my vlog channel. I haven't vlogged since I went to San Francisco. Hopefully, I do something interesting soon. So that, really, that was gross. So that I can vlog, but I'll have that link down below as well. And, peace out. I think that's all I wanted to say. Thought I'd add a little bit of bloopers in here. Chubby! Hey, hey, dog. Oh, look at the mess of my room. Don't, don't, don't. Peace, 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 peace.